Good evening. Welcome to Marty's Tying Bench. Tonight I'm putting together kits for this week's Vice Squad, and the pattern I've chosen is a Denny Rickards pattern, a Stillwater Nymph. Now this is uh, designed to be more of a suggestive pattern than a specific imitation, so with the right color combinations, this can be anything from a scud to a leech to a small minnow, a crayfish. It's a very effective pattern in the in the lakes. Now, weighting this is optional, but I'm going to put on about six turns of 0 .020 lead. And you don't want that up against the eye, but you do want it in the forward half of the hook. So I'm going to back it off a little bit and then start my thread. I'm going to use my thumbnail to keep it in place while I build up a little bit of a dam. And then just jump to the back. Build another little thread dam behind it to secure it in place. Now, the tail is marabou, two colors. This one is burnt orange. And this isn't a woolly booger tail. This is supposed to be wispy and sparse. So I'm not using very much of it. You do want it to be maybe one and a half times the length of the hook shank. Have it a little bit longer in relationship to the overall body length. And the overcolor is olive. Again, pretty wispy, you don't need very much. Now, if your marabou's long enough, you can pull it back and secure it, and then pull it over the top as your shell back. This one kind of gets into that part of the marabou where the die didn't take very well, so I'm going to show you an alternate way. It's a little extra step, but quite easy. We're going to get some more marabou. Just peel it off the stem. And I'm going to tie it in on the top. And get my hinge right there over the hook point. So this will be my wing case when I get to the end. We're going to use a wire rib on this one so I've got some copper brown wire and now for some dubbing. We're going to dub the abdomen with uh, Arizona synthetic dubbing. This is a light peacock. You can pick any any kind of a dubbing that you like. I'm going to keep it somewhat thin. And I want to spare some, some hook shank up at the front for the final part of the tie-in. But I need to get somewhat close, so I'm going to need a little more tubbing. There we go. Now, I tie these hackles in in reverse style, so let's give you a look at that. This is a burnt orange grizzly hackle. And I went ahead and dyed this one with Kool-Aid, just regular orange Kool-Aid and hot water, a little bit of vinegar on a regular grizzly hackle and it turned out to be pretty good color. Now when you wrap it you want to make one full wrap and then start into your spiral towards the back and really open those up. You only need three or four of them to get to the back on a size 10 here. When you get to the back switch to the wire 
and treat the wire as if it was thread and work your way through. Now this is in effect counter wrapping over the hackle so if that hackle ever breaks it's still not going to come undone here. There we go. Now I can cut or break off the wire. And since that hackle is under wire, I can just pluck it and it'll break right where it's supposed to. Now I'm going to take a second and stroke most of the hackle away from the top. And then pick up that second bundle and pull it forward over the top. See that? Now, if your marabou is sparse like you're supposed to, you'll be able to turn over the top and kind of lock it into place and build a nice little head. Now, I want to get a little bit of head cement on the thread. This one I definitely recommend some head cement. But I'm not going to dollop it right on the uh, the head because then it'll bleed into the marabou. I want to get it on the thread so I can just apply it that way. Let finish. Quick inspection for any strays. And I cut that gently along the angle so that it's nice and smooth. There you go, Denny Stillwater Nymph.